Now, I need to get this going here where I want to create the actual mold base and get it done and wrap this up. When I go to the, the uh, main group in the dialog window here, there's a mold base library command that I could choose. And that's going to give me a window out of the resource library here that will then show me an information, what I really call a legend, of what the, the plate design looks like with any particular mold. And it's a matter of what I select over here in my resource bar or my reuse library specifically. There's a number of manufacturers here. I've got a DME mold base definition here with a lot of options down there. If I pick a particular uh, sample, it's a part family, I can get in here and change values. Any of these green drop downs give me available default values that work with that particular mold base, as well as any particular expression value, I could just enter in what value I might want. Again, keeping it simple here, I'll just choose OK, and it's gonna go ahead and build and watch this thing go to work here. This is now accessing a library of all kinds of parts in the standard mold base as designed by those manufacturers, and it's customizing it based on the size of my workpiece, which of course was customized by my parting surface definition, my regions, and the actual part geometry. And there's one example of what it came up with. Now, if that's not what I want, I take a look at that and go, no, I don't think that's what I want to fit into that Cincinnati uh, press or whatever. I can go back to that mold-based design and say, no, I'd rather go with a Hasco and I want to use the TW design and let that rip. And it says, are you sure you want to redefine this whole mold base? And I just say, yes, go to it. As I said, this is a highly integrated product. It is incorporating not only just wave geometry linking and interpart expressions and the assembly associativity within the, set, the uh, structure of the assembly, but it's also accessing attribute-based definition as well as a lot of other things like knowledge fusion, um, NX open, uh, other areas, API programming, whatever you might need it to do. Now, as I get into the um, screen here and you see in NX12 uh, in our tab-based windows, I'm still working on the parting product uh, sub-assembly here within my top level assembly. So when I go to my assembly navigator, you can see I'm not working on the top level. If I now just make that the work part at the top level, now I see all of the insert, the part inside, the split of the parting surface, all the guide pins, bushings, um, things I don't even know the name of. I'm not a mold maker, but there are a lot of parts in there and I could go on, but we're we're running up to the end of the, of the uh, deadline here. So the uh, bottom line is it's a highly integrated, highly automated function that will, after some initial configuration work and development of, of standard processes, will save you time like you can't believe.